everybody, so this is going to be my quick review of the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. As you know, I've been reviewing a whole bunch of BB creams because I got this Sephora BB Buzz Kit for Christmas and it had five BB cream samples from Sephora in it and I've slowly been trying them out and giving you my reviews once I've tried them out a few times and have an opinion on them. This is number four and unfortunately it's going to be the last in this series um, and there may be the fifth one come summertime but the reason being the last one is the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm and the color of this is too dark. It actually comes in a number of different colors whereas most of the other ones were one color fits all. My color was Cream Glow and and it's um, too dark for me at this point. So I'm gonna hold on to it to summer. Maybe you'll see a review of it come summer. But as far as this review series goes, this will be the last one. And I will link all the other BB creams I've reviewed down below so you can see if I like them or if I didn't and why and why not. And yeah, so I'm just gonna start off by telling you a little bit about this product and then you'll see myself applying it. It is all I'm wearing today in the video. I do have some concealer underneath my eyes and a bit of powder on top, but I don't have any foundation or anything like that. This is just the BB cream I am wearing. So I'm reading from their website on my laptop here, but I'll leave the website down below if you want to check out more info for, your, for yourself. But this retails for $22 for the full size, which I think is somewhat reasonable for a higher end BB cream. It's not too high on the spectrum in my opinion. Um, like I mentioned with the Too Faced one, it was too dark. This one actually comes in several shades itself, whereas I believe all the other ones I reviewed were a universal shade. The shade I got in this is light, which is great for me at this point. Um, I'm looking on their website and there's just a ton of different colors. There is light, light medium, fair, fair light, and then it says light again, but it, it has a new beside it, and then a light neutral, which is new. There's a lot of versions of light, so you might want to look into maybe what undertones um, are in this, like pink, yellow, things like that. Then it goes on to light medium and into the darker skin tones. So definitely a lot of options to choose from. It claims to be an oil controlling formulation, um, which also provides hydration and visibly reduces fine lines and wrinkles after only four weeks. It has SPF 35 in it, which is great. Basically it claims to, like a lot of BB creams do, moisturize, prime, perfect, control oil, and protect uh, for flawless skin on set and beyond. All right, and now I'll quickly show you myself applying this BB cream. This BB cream has a different texture than a lot of the ones I'm used to. It's not as silky or silicone-y feeling. It's not super smooth to bend, to blend in. I would consider it more of a sticky formula, if that makes any sense. However, I'm still able to blend it over my skin. It just seems to be a little bit more difficult. It kind of, once it hits your skin, holds on really tight. I believe that maybe one of the reasons it claims to be oil control controlling because as I'm blending it in my skin any few dry patches that I have it clings on to immediately which I'll show you here in a second. Here is the coverage after the first application. I think it did a pretty decent job. I always I'd like to add a little bit more, dab a little bit more of my fingers onto the areas where I need extra coverage and pat it in. I do that with any BB cream just to enhance the coverage a little bit but overall on a first application I think it did a pretty good job. As you'll notice when I'm applying this, there isn't a whole lot of extra shine that comes off this product. It pretty much sets to um, almost a matte finish immediately, which is unlike a lot of the BB creams that I have. And here's what my skin looks like after the second application of it. I'm zooming in so you can see areas of my face that are, a little, that are a little bit more dry and how it's kind of clung onto those dry patches and makes it more difficult to blend out, just in case you're someone who does have a drier skin tone. As for my final opinions on this BB cream, I definitely think this is geared towards someone with a more oilier skin tone or a combination or even normal. Um, over the years, my skin has been more oily, but like I said in a few videos here recently, it's gotten more dry. I have some dry patches right here and kind of over here by my hairline. Um, so in those particular areas, I do not like it on my skin, but the rest of my skin, I really love it. I love that it doesn't leave my skin overly shiny, it dries to a pretty matte finish almost immediately, so you really don't need powder with it. The coverage is pretty decent for a BB cream, um, and as far as longevity, I wouldn't say this is a super long wearing BB cream, but it's not the worst I've tried, so I would give it like a 2.5 out of 5 maybe for longevity. It does tend to break down after I would say maybe six hours or so, so it's not super long wearing, but again, it's not terrible. The finish of it is matte, as you can see. Um, there's no glow or really shine happening, so if that's something you're looking for, this would be perfect. So yeah, it's really just personal preference. This is not my holy grail, amazing BB cream. Maybe if I had 
still a really oily skin type this might be but for me it's not my absolute favorite but I wanted to share it with you guys in case you found it interesting so I think that's about it if I missed anything or if you have any extra questions definitely feel free to leave a comment down below and definitely check out the other BB cream reviews I did in case you missed them and I think that's about it thank you so much for watching bye